Howdy guys, Halo Dramager here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Super Mario Brothers 3. And, uh, hold on, let me get the mouse out of the screen. There we go, okay. As you can see, uh, I've made a little test file here, a test recording uh, on file B, uh, just a test run on file A, and yeah. But I digress. Let us get started. This is Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, I had to use the Super Mario All-Stars version because where I get my uh, emulator thing, I don't know what to call it, but wherever I get them, where I, where I get my emulation for whatever, you know. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <sighs> there was no Super Mario Bros. 3 original for the NES on it, so I have to stick with this one. So, here we go. Level 1, World 1. Here we go, guys. Boy, <laughs> this game brings back a lot of memories for me. I loved this game whenever I was a kid, and I love it to this day. Now, the running at the running sound is a little annoying, and I will be doing it a lot throughout this project. But that's to be expected. You don't want me to go like 40 parts or whatever, like walking through everywhere. It'd probably take me 40 parts if I walked everywhere. This game is actually a really big game, unless I take the shortcuts. Which, by the way, um, there are the secret whistles in... There's three secret whistles in this whole game. Two in this world, and one in the second world. Um, wow, I just glitched to a block. Um, I want you guys to decide, should I take shortcuts once I decide to, usually decide to, or um, should I go through the whole game and show everything? I mean, like, every single level, every single power up, what? Please put that down in the description, or not, this, yeah. Yeah, put it in the description. No, put it in the comments down below and tell me what you guys think I should do. Because I want to get you guys involved as much as I can. You know, be more interactive with my fans and stuff like that. Um, today is May 2nd. 2011. I have been having a great day. Um, this video would have been up yesterday, but um, really, I decided three days of voting was a little too soon, so I made it four. Changed it to four. I don't know why I didn't put that in the annotations in the update video. But I digress. Here we go, we are about to get our first secret whistle. What we need to do is kill this turtle and crouch. Yes, crouch. That's how we get it. We go, we run behind the level, behind the goal, and there is a secret box. I will show off where all the whistles are. And I may use them depending on what you guys say. Like I thought I'd skip a world or something, I don't know. And oh boy, got a mushroom. That's just handy. Okay guys, right here is a slot machine type place. Where you want to... It's basically gambling for one-ups. And... 
hey, I got three lives. Nice. Um, it's kind of hard to explain how to do that. It's like scanning the item, kind of. I don't know. It's just weird. Um, if the quality for this episode doesn't sound, like, too good, it's because I left my normal mic at my cousin's house, and I'm using my old mic again, my old Logitech mic. Uh, I'm used to using my new Logitech mic, but since it's not here, I have to stick with this old one. And the quality may sound a little different than what everyone's used to. And I missed that jump, so I'm going for the second whistle right now. Uh, second attempt. Mario, get off the block! Damn, dude! Okay. Sorry for the running noises. I really am. Whew. But yeah, this... This game only won by two votes. So, uh, yeah. I was surprised. Anyway, moving on, this is level 5. I'm not going to go to level 4 because it's auto-scrolling. I hate auto-scrolling levels. I am going to try to skip them as much as I can. So, uh, how have you guys been? I have been pretty damn good these past few days. Um, little news that happened on the 22nd of April or it may have been a little sooner. Uh, my cousin's stepdad uh, passed away. Yeah, I know it's it's tragic. Every, everyone was everyone that knew him was there, pretty much. So the funeral went pretty good. Um. But I digress, this is not the time or place to be talking about that, but I just thought I'd mention it. Anyway, let's go to level 6, and move forward, yay! Wow, uh, okay, I'm probably going to do a world of video, unless the world drags on for a long time. It might be half a world or something. Ow! I don't know. And I just barely got that one up. <laughs> okay. Again, sorry if the sound quality is horrible. I don't know how it sounds with me talking. Because uh, my test recording was just the volume itself. I was going to do post commentary, but let's see how live commentary does. And let's jump off this turtle and finish this level. Okay, I should explain the card system. Three mushroom cards get you two lives. Three fire flower cards get you three lives. And three star cards get you five lives. If you get one of each in any order, you will get uh, one life. That's, what, that's why I'm collecting cards. Uh, kind of have to. Like, for every level you play. Unless it's a secret level, like this Hammer Bro right here. Hammer Bros were originally introduced in the original Super Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 1. They weren't in, introduced until, like, late in the game, I guess. I don't know, I think it was like World 5 when they first appeared. I'm not too sure, I forgot. But I digress, we just got a magic leaf. Which allows us to turn into a raccoon person, or a raccoon mutant. And fly. Apparently raccoons can fly now. And it's, 
Then the king has been transformed into a snake. Oh man. So we must go get a magic rod. We'll change him back into his normal kingly shape. Yeah, I know. It's, it's messed up, but, you know, Bowser is a messed up guy, and we gotta stop him. Yes, Bowser is the final boss of this game. Oh my god, spoilers. You guys did not know that. Oh my god. <laughs> but I digress. Uh, here we have a doom ship, or an airship, whichever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, they're notoriously, notoriously short, well, the first few are, but, uh, well, damn, let me launch, you launch me backwards, that was, I believe, Iggy Koopa, Iggy or Lemmy, I don't remember, but this is the first appearance of the Koopa Kids. We will see Koopa Kids in later games, uh, well, such as Super Mario World, which is pretty much after this one. Um, and, you know, I've already did a flip for that. Well, the Game Boy Advance version of it, but I digress. Uh, every time you beat a Doom Ship or Airship, you get a P-Wing. P-Wings allow you to infinitely fly through one level, unless you get hit. If you get hit, then you can't fly anymore, obviously. You go back to Mushroom Mario. But, I digress. Uh, this is going to be it for today's episode. So, this has been Halo 2 Amateur. And, hopefully, this volume turned out decent. I don't know. Anyway, see you guys next time for more Super Mario Bros. 3. Later, folks. Okay, go save and quit.